Hey, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are, the Lynch Chronicles family. I'm looking at some of the comments on uh, these videos, and I'm starting to believe that I should, we should be gathering together more often to pray, because I'm not praying by myself. Um, you guys are praying with me, and uh, the Bible says, one shall put a thousand to flight, and two shall put ten thousand to flight. I also recognize that majority of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed based on the analytics. So I'm asking you to do me a favor, that you subscribe, hit the like button, share the videos, and uh, let's uh, pray as a collective, let's pray as a team. Just based on the comments, I know that uh, by the spirit I'm touching topics that not just... Uh, I'm not the only one going through, but you guys are going through as well. And again, we're going to pray as a collective. Uh, today, what, what I want to pray about is um, the whispering spirit. You see, the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing what? The word of God. Discouragement and doubt also comes by hearing, hearing those whispering spirits. The Bible says to hold, to take captive, if I'm saying it right, every imagination that raises itself up to the knowledge of Christ. And what that means is an imagination is a thought. Okay, so every thought that raises itself up against what you believe in God for, what uh, you, you know God has been to you, whom he has been and will be for you and forevermore. And see what doubt does, doubt tries to move in in that space where you're asking God and you're waiting for God. Asking God and waiting for God. God is still God in between the asking and the waiting. So what doubt, those whispering spirits, those imaginations want to dissuade your faith in between the asking and the waiting. So then you may say, Brother Wayne, what should I be doing between the asking and the waiting? I hear you, Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost says you should be believing between the asking and the waiting. So I need y'all to join with me that no matter what, no matter how long it takes, I'm going to trust God. And if there's something that is spiritually hindering what I'm waiting for God to do in my life, I am going to daily war against it. Okay, y'all ready? Let's go. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you that you're God. I thank you, God, that there is no other but you. There is none like you. Lord, the songwriter says that he searched the world over and could find none. No one like you, God. And Lord, those are my sentiments, and I'm sure many of the people who are listening, uh, that's what they believe as well that God is such a wonderful God that their whole life, they've never experienced anything like you. And God, I just want to thank you that you're not a respecter of persons, that you don't uh, base, you don't minister to people based on the color of our skin, our, mel our melanin content, where we were from, a place of national origins, who our parents were. God, you just love us just the same. And I hear that song by the, the sidewalk prophets, and he loved me just the same. And God loves us just the same, and he wants to perform his miracles just the same in our lives, Lord, because I know that when your miracles are performed in our lives, God, you are glorified. And Father God, I want you to glorify yourself in my life. Lord, I'm giving you, uh, I'm saying yes. I'm giving you permission, God, to blow my mind and glorify yourself in my life. And Father God, I know these people that are listening, your people are trusting in you, waiting for you to knock their socks off. Lord, your word declares that the blessings of the Lord will overtake. And Father God, we're waiting to be overtaken. And Father God, with that overtaking comes the joy unspeakable and full of glory, God, because only you can do it. So now, God, while we are waiting, while we are waiting, God, we are trusting you and believing, Father God. I hear the Lord saying even right now that the asking, the waiting, and the manifestation is all the same to him because he doesn't live in time. So Father God, we thank you for what you're going to do. We thank you, Lord, what you've done. 
And Lord, we thank you that you've heard our prayer. We thank you, God, that every thought, every imagination that raises itself up to the knowledge of you, Lord, we subject to the power of God. Lord, we trust in you. We trust your word. Your word declares, God, that not only no weapon formed against us will prosper, it also says that all things work for the good for those who love you and call according to his purpose. And it also says that your word cannot return to you void. And Lord, I'm thankful that your word is true. Lord, we're thankful that you are your word. The Bible says in John that in the beginning was the word, the word was God and the word was with God. And the word came and walked not among men, but in men is what it should really say. And thank you, Lord. We thank you that your word resides in us. We're thankful, Father God, that you're in us. You sent your spirit, the Ruach of God, to rest in us. And Father God, we want to just rest in your kabod. Father God, we want to come to a place of worship. For we are thankful, God, that you have defeated the enemy that stands against us. Lord, you said one shall put a one shall put a thousand to flight and two shall put ten thousand father god i don't know how many of us as the collective god but i know that you are doing exceedingly abundantly more than we can ever ask desire think lord some of the people saying they're having a hard time that this is a difficult time for them father god i'm asking lord that you will give them strength to wait it out you'll give them strength to overcome you will give them strength father god to trust in you you will give them strength in between the asking and the manifestation and the waiting god that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can ever ask desire think father god we come against lack we come against those thoughts father god that continuously bombard us father god in an effort to get us not to trust you to get us not to believe you god but we stand today god against the enemy, wherever he is, in our thoughts, in our minds, in our bodies, in our families, wherever he is, we come against the enemies of God right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for those of us, Father God, that have moments of depression. And Lord, we are pulling ourselves up. I was saying today, depression, you're not going to take me. Doubt, anxiety, you're not going to take me. I know I don't know how I'm going to pay the bill, but I trust God because he said that he will be able to provide our needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. Father God, that is a mandate that you placed on yourself, that our needs would be supplied by your riches in glory through Christ Jesus. And Father God, this is the week, God. A manifestation we open our mouth and we say that today God is the week of manifestation that we are trusting in you God that in the next 72 hours God there will be a movement God a Kairos moment for all of us God. many of us are tired frankly some of us are tired of praying Lord some of us are tired of waiting some of us are tired of saying the same old things over and over Lord, we've been trusting and believing in you. And Lord, disappointment has been a constant companion. But Lord, we speak against disappointment now. And we say we stand with Yehovah God. We stand in faith against the enemy of our minds in the name of Jesus. And whatever God has said to us, whatever prophetic word he has released, we stand strong that he's able to accomplish. His hands are not short that he cannot defend himself nor defend us from our enemies God Lord I just want to say we love you and we're thankful God that you have not left us up to ourselves to fend for ourselves and God you are a good father and we thank you God that you're a good good father we thank you God that you're working all these things out for us we thank you Lord that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can ever ask desire or think we thank you Lord that all things work to the good we thank you Lord that you're able to come against our enemies Lord we repent for our sins our transgressions our iniquity Lord that we have sinned against you God we've opened ourselves up Father God the sins of our forefathers in many instances things that we have not even done things that we have no knowledge of but nevertheless Lord we carry the same blood and we come against every covenant pact oath and agreement that hangs on our bloodline God Lord we're asking that by the courts of heaven Lord that you will decree God that these things that are against us Lord from our forefathers will now now be made null and void as the blood of Jesus according to Hebrews 12 still speaks for us and Lord I'm thankful that your blood is speaking for us Lord, even the blood of animals and humans that were shed, Father God, 
to uh, seal these covenants. Now we break them now in Jesus' name. Insanity, insanity, insanity shall not be a portion. Depression and anxiety shall not be a portion. Sickness shall not be a portion. We come against the works of the wicked one and his kingdom and his acolytes and his prophets and priests because we stand united with God and we have the greater anointing. God, I'm asking that you Lord, we come against those that would come against us, Lord. All the spell binding that the enemy is doing, witchcraft spells and curses in the name of Jesus. We come against them now in the mighty name of Yeshua ben David. Every curse, pact, oath, and agreement, every witchcraft spell and curse, every hex, every vex, we come against them now in Jesus' name. We will now allow them to take roots in our life and root in the family, in the lives of our family members. We stand in victory in Jesus because we are victorious because Christ is victorious. And Father God, I'm asking that you give your people peace. You give them a peace of mind that they can trust in you. We don't trust in government. We don't trust in politicians. And neither do we trust in vaccines. But we trust in God most high. Because let me tell some of y'all. If you went and got the vaccine, that's your business. But here's the error in your thought. If God cannot keep you, then no one can. Not even a vaccine. And God, we trust in you and not in man. We trust in you, God, and not in vaccines. We trust that you are God and you still sit on the throne and not in anything else. Lord, I just want to thank you for what you're going to do in the lives of your people because of today. And Lord, I'm asking you, that you will move in their lives and bring them victory, God. You bring them victory in Jesus' name. That healing shall be their portion. Lord, let's get some testimonies. Let's hear the testimonies of you, God, delivering your people. Listen, when God delivers you and takes you out of that place, I need you to testify. I need you to testify. Tell us what God is doing for you. People read your remarks and they want to know what God is doing for you. I can't be the only one that God is working things out for. He loves us all just the same. And let me hear what God is doing in your life. Let me hear about the awesomeness of who he is. And Lord, I just want to thank you and give you praise and honor and glory and bless and magnify your name, God. For your name is great in all the earth and you are worthy to be praised. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Listen, come hell or high water, come roses or thorns, I need you to continue to trust God. It's not about who, how we feel. I know that feeling. You get discouraged. You know, you, you feel like you're the only one that's going through. It is so hard for some of us. But God is teaching you something in this trial. God is allowing you to become a champion of that thing that you would, you would rather avoid. And so hold fast. Continue to trust God. I encourage you and I know that he's able. He is able, 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 able. God bless y'all today. Listen. Uh, many of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed. I need you to subscribe. Do me a favor. I need you to subscribe to Deliverance Chronicles TV. And I need you to share these messages. We need these, these videos to go out to people that need help. And sometimes we feel home, hopeless and we can't intercede for ourselves. It's not because I'm praying. It's because the one that is answering is answering. So for those who you know have family members or friends that are struggling, let God through these videos, the anointing that is on the videos, I didn't give myself the anointing, God did it. He called me when I was a child and I'm still here and I'm gonna continue to pray for his people. So God bless you all. Remember, if you're not fighting, you've already lost. Let's keep fighting for we've won the war. Now let's just win these battles. God bless y'all.